Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Um, I did not mean to take such a long break, but I am back with more videos. Um, today's video is Sims 2. Um, I have decided to not continue with Pleasant View um, as much as I love that neighborhood. I do feel like I have played it so many times that there's like only so many variations of the families that I can do. So I have instead started a new custom hood. Um, this one is going to be a build a city challenge or BACC, which is my favorite challenge to attempt in The Sims 2. Have I completed one yet? No. Will I continue to start new ones? Yes, forever and ever. Um, today, this time I am doing Neferis's rules, which I will link in the box below so you can check those out so you kind of know like what my goals are and a little bit because it would take way too long to actually fully explain the Build a City Challenge. Um, but this is the neighborhood that I'm using so far. As you can tell, super empty, but it has a lot of room for expanding. And it's all nice and flat, which is very good for building houses. Um, so we do have just our five um, starting households and their homes. So today's episode is just going to be um, introducing you to everybody and then I will actually dive into playing next time. Uh, so we will start with our founder. This is my founder, Essence Newton, um, and all of the sims that I'm using as my founders are were created by other uh, people, mostly people, actually it's just two creators over on Tumblr. Um, so Essence is Nadine by Elisis, and I will post links to where I got all of the sims from in the description box as well, so you can download them yourselves if you'd like to. Um, Essence is, let's see, she is knowledge slash pleasure, and her lifetime want is to have 10 dream dates, and her turn-ons are great dancer and zombies, turn-off is makeup. And then this is her house, um, I did build all the houses myself. This was the first one I did, I think it's the best, but then after that it was like, okay, how do I do variations of this without just doing the same thing over and over again? So the houses, I think, steadily get worse, but this one is the best, in my opinion. Um, anyway, yeah, very simple house. Um, part of the rules are that there is no electricity and no running water at the beginning, so the bathtub is technically only allowed because she's got the pond, which we're pretending that she uses that to be able to flush her toilet and take a shower. Um, and then everybody's going to have the grills because they can't have actual stoves until I unlock electricity and running water. Um, and then it's just candles everywhere. So candles on tables and these like wall sconces things because they're candles um but yeah very simple houses um yeah i mean she does still have money left over so i could have probably decorated a little bit more but honestly i'm not too worried i don't usually do a lot of decorations anyway so yeah that is um the main founder i guess the others technically count as founders as well um and then second household is the darling household and she, <laughs> uh, Lydia, Lyric Darling here is a vampire, so she has a very basic house upstairs that has literally nothing in it because from the outside it's just fur appearances to make it look like she's normal, um, but she does just have a coffin in the basement. Um, and then Lyric is Pleasure slash Family with the Lifetime Want have 10 first dates, which that one's not too hard to do, but will be challenging in this case because there aren't any um, townies yet. So she's going to have to go on dates with her fellow founders. And 
it's just, it's a lot. So we'll see. But she's also a vampire, so she doesn't age, so she's got time to do that. Um, anyway, and then her turn-ons are hard worker, plant sins, and turn off is witchiness. Um, yeah, we got that, and I guess I can do a close-up of her as well, even though she is currently walking up the stairs to clean up her pile of urine. <laughs> um, so she is a sim by... Uh, I don't know how you say the creator's name, because it's not, like, she's not an English-based um, simmer. I think it's Lesia Soon. That's how I've always said it. Um, but she created just, like, some rainbow supernaturals, and so this was her vampire sim. So I snagged her and turned her into my vampire. Um, so yeah, this is just Rainbow Vampire by Lesia Soon. And I love her... Uh, sims i think they are very cute the, the thing he, back here keeps glitching it doesn't always like to actually show up the way it should um anyway the next household is the quinn household then in this household we've got jason collins um also by lesia soon um he is one of her Pricklestone students. If I remember right, this is Billy originally. Um, he's just super cute and I love him. Um, he is fortune slash pleasure with the lifetime want to become head of SCIA. And his turn-ons are facial hair, talented, which is a new one I have that just means to have um, talent badges pretty much. And then turn off is life skills. And this is, again, another turn-off um, that I got with a mod, and it is just, like, the lifelong happiness, couples counseling, that type of stuff. Um, he doesn't like people who know those. And then we've got Rhett. Um, Rhett is a werewolf, which you can't tell during the day, but at night he will turn into a werewolf. Um, he is, again, by Les Yasun, and, again, I just used one of her rainbow supernaturals, so he is the werewolf sim that, sim that she created. Um, he is pleasure slash family with the lifetime want to become city planner. And his turn-ons are fatness and rich, and turn-off is hard worker. And then the last sim in this household is Talia Quinn. Again, she's by Lesia soon. Um, her original name was, I'm um, checking my little spreadsheet for this, uh, Trinity Tripp. Um, that is who she was, it was Trinity Tripp. Um, she is Pleasure slash Fortune. God, a lot of Pleasure family, a, a lot of Pleasure Sims in this neighborhood, and I don't know why. Um, and then her lifetime want is become world-class ballet dancer and her turn-ons are fatness, gray hair, and she is turned off by facial hair. Um, yeah, and Jason and Talia are both just regular old sims, no supernaturals for them. And then, got their home, so I've got Talia's bedroom down here, and then upstairs this one is Jason's bedroom, and this is Rhett's, and then pond and a garden, because um, part of the build a city challenge as well is that they can't do any um, deliveries at first so when they run out of groceries they need fresh food fresh food so I always start with a pretty good sized um, garden so that they'll have fresh produce uh, usually by the end of the week which is nice so yeah there's that and then let's see next household is Sanders household All right, so in the Sanders household here, we've got Glenn Holmes, who is reading a glitchy book. So we'll have him stop that. There we go. Okay, nope. I'd like to get him so that you can actually see his face. <laughs> okay. So yeah, Glenn Holmes, again, a less yes soon sim. Um, he's another Pricklestone student. Um, his name was David. 
Um, he is popularity and grilled cheese with the lifetime want become media magnate and his turn-ons are vampires and werewolves and turn off is black hair um, and he actually has three bolts with Rhett so I am really hoping that ACR is gonna kick in and give me a relationship with them pretty quick because I think that could be fun um, and then we've got Caitlin Sanders who is a plant sim and again she is by Lesia soon um, she is the plant sim that Lesia soon made for the rainbow supernaturals uh, she originally had more pink in her but I kind of liked the green instead although I did give her a pink bedroom as you can kind of see behind her um, anyway so yeah that's Caitlin and she is popularity and fortune with the lifetime want have 10 simultaneous best friends and her turn-ons are fitness glasses and turn off is makeup and then last one in this household is Lily Redding um, she's a witch and again she is by Lesia soon she's one of the rainbow supernaturals um, she was originally the pumpkin witch so I kind of gave her an orange color scheme to fit with what she originally was um, she is popularity and family and with the lifetime want become the general she likes makeup and athletic and turn off is rich and then this is their house um, so this is Caitlin's room although as a plant sim she's not really gonna need it because she doesn't actually have to sleep but this way if she manages to get into a relationship with someone she has a room for them um, and then this is Lily's room and this one is Glenn's um, then yeah the rest of it is pretty simple nice open floor plan um, they're all three popularity sims so my thought is kind of that they're gonna have a nice big open area for parties not sure how often they'll actually throw parties because I don't really do that when I'm playing uh, but as three popularity sims living together it kind of makes sense and then the pond and um, garden like everybody else has and then the last house is the Waverly household all right so then the last household is uh, Vance Waverly here he is also by Lesia soon again he is the alien sim from her um, rainbow supernaturals and he is uh, fortune and popularity with the lifetime want Oops. become city planner and his turn-ons are facial hair and witchiness and turn off is great cook and then he has a very simple house um, I kind of gave him like grays and blacks as his clothes and kind of continue that into his house but I really like it um, so yeah again very simple and then pond and um, garden right so yeah those are the nine sims that I will be starting off with in my Blackmore BACC um, yeah I will end this episode here and then the next one will be actually starting to play starting with the founder um, uh, yeah so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye